Our next speaker is an associate professor of political science at the University of Texas at Arlington. Throughout the years, he has become one of the well-known philanthropists of the North Texas area. Accordingly, his efforts have earned him various prestigious and well-deserved recognitions on the local, state, and national level. Please welcome Dr. Alan Sachs. I'm sitting down because I can't stand up. And uh, this is going to be a political striptease. <laughs> Don't get too excited, look at me. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm nothing to look at. <laughs> By the way, there's a light that is shining through my pants here. And I don't know what it is, but I think they gave it to me. Maybe it makes you sterile or something. I don't know. <laughs> I am going to do a strip tease, but it's going to be an economic, psychological, political, philosophical strip tease. I'm going to tell you about my inner self, what I'm like. And that sounds a little bit self-serving, but I'll tell you a little bit why. There's a big economic debate in this country about money. By the way, people will tell you everything about their life except about money. They'll tell you about their sex lives. I don't really want to know. They'll tell you about all sorts of things, their family life, how they were raised, everything. But they won't tell you about money. And this afternoon, I'm going to tell you about money. I give it all away, all of it and I've done it for a long time. It's not out of goodness. Philanthropy means the love of man. I can, can, I can assure you I do not love my fellow man. I'm going to move my chair back a little bit. I'm afraid I'm going to top over, topple over. Um, I don't love my fellow man. I give away money purely because it validates my own life. That's it. Uh, there are some psychologists and psychiatrists, whoever they are, that peer into our brain. And some of them say that one of the signs of suicide is when somebody gives away all their, all their possessions. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to commit suicide, at least not on Ted. <laughs> boy, wouldn't that, boy, wouldn't that be a hit. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Giving away money doesn't lead to suicide for me, it validates my life. And that's why I have my name on so many things. That's the only thing I've required. I keep moving back. That's the only thing that I require. Put my name on a plaque. Put my name on a softball field, an intramural field, a hospital wing, a humane society uh, adoption center. And I love it. I don't drive by and look at these things every day. I'm not that weird yet. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoy it. By the way, there are some things I've given money to that I don't put my name on. Uh, I will not tell you what they are. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I've given away money to places where I wish I hadn't. But for the most part, I'm glad I've done it. Why, why do I do it? Here comes my political, economic, psychological, philosophical striptease. Why, why would I do that? I'm not sure sometimes. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I approach them. They don't approach me. And I don't listen to the presidents get together and tell me that they want me to donate something to something after a tragedy, and there are plenty of them around the world. Although once in a while I do, but that's not my main motivation. Something hits me. I read an article, I read a, a, a newspaper, and it says the Humane Society is overwhelmed with uh, dogs from uh, Katrina, or from the tragedies that we just had in Texas and West Texas. And so I call up the Humane Society and say, um, can I help you out a little bit? I approach them, they don't approach me. And I enjoy it, and I love it put my name on the adoption center, put my name on the hospital wing. I'm sitting because as a child, I had uh, polio. And I can walk pretty well, but I'm still not too sure once in a while when I'm standing up in front of a classroom. 
So I sit sometimes, stand sometime, but now I'm sitting. What does it have to do with giving away money? Well, when I was in the hospital many, many, many years ago, I'm a little old grouchy man now, <laughs> I would sit there in the hospital and think, and that's a scary thing to do, just to sit and think and hear the noises in the hall and hear what's going on. And I began to give away money literally at that time in my life. Little bits of money. The first amount of money was to St. Anthony's Hospital in Oklahoma City, $100. That was a lot for a eight, nine, 10 year old kid. And now I've gotten bigger. I inherited a, a vast fortune from a relative uh, in the 1990s, 1992 to be exact, and gave it all away in a very short period of time. And a relative called me and said, I ought to go see a psychiatrist because what was I guilty about? And thank goodness I did not take their advice. And I continue to give away money, but by the way, please don't ask me for any. <laughs> I don't have any anymore, but I've enjoyed it. It gives me some validation because I can't do anything in life. I can barely tie my shoes. I can talk to a classroom, love to teach. I have the great privilege of teaching, but I can't build anything. I can't construct anything. I can't go to the moon. I can't do those things. My brain isn't wired that way. So I try to give money away to people that can do those things. Build a washing machine. <laughs> build an air conditioner, do something. And so I take great pride in giving money away to people that can do things. And perhaps it's not just money. The most important thing, maybe even more than money, is to do something with your hand. Go down to a charity and see if you can help out. Go to the Humane Society and adopt a dog or a cat. And perhaps just be courteous and nice and decent to your fellow man and to all living creatures. Perhaps that's the biggest philanthropic uh, deed of all. Appreciate being here very much. Thank you.